In today's video, we are doing tug and groove pine ceiling installation on this ceiling. Let's get into it. Not wanting to miss out on the gender conversation, tongue and groove pine ceiling has a female and a male in. When installing, it'll be secured like so. This side of your board is gonna be held in place by the tongue and groove design. This side, you're gonna to wanna to add some nails right into the crevice along here, making sure that you've got your brad nailer on an angle. If you go straight up and down, you're gonna have a nail popping out the back side, and that's gonna affect your ability to slide the next piece into place. When cutting boards to length, we made sure that all our seams were gonna line up and meet at one of these joists. That way, each board is nailed in from the front to the back. You can nail directly through the face of the pine into the joist, which is what we did here in our bathroom. Still looks really good, but because we were working in a brighter space, we wanted a cleaner finish on this back room, so we nailed directly into the tongue and groove. This project was fairly straightforward, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. There were three challenges that we came across and I'm gonna show you what we did for each of them. Problem numero uno, we used secondary pine boards. Because this project was taking place in the shop, we didn't feel the need to spend the big bucks. As a result, there was some discrepancies in the board sizes and not everything was perfectly straight. Number two, it took quite a bit of finesse work to cut around the lights and fan in the ceiling. And number three, once our final board was in place, we had a gap that we were dealing with. The widths of our boards ranged from five to five and a quarter inches. The first thing we did is measure and make sure that every board going into a single row is the same width. From there, we would square off our ends by cutting off a tiny slice, then measure to the length we need. Once the boards were cut to length, it's ready to install. We would nail into the tongue and groove seam at roughly a 45 degree angle at every joist. This next part took some finesse. You're the light of my life. Maybe we should flip the breaker switch on that. We started by taking our measurements and transferring those to the board we were gonna cut. Then I found a cylindrical object to trace. To get started with the cut, we drilled a hole into the center, then Helpful Husband showed off his jigsaw skills and cut the piece out. Once the hole for the light's electrical box was cut out, we were ready to install the piece. And look at this fit, seriously, it's almost like we know what we're doing, but don't be fooled. To screw the light box back into place, we had to find some longer screws to adjust for the change in depth. After finishing the finicky pieces around the lights and fan, we were on a straightaway. It was as easy as measure, cut, install, and repeat. We've got one final piece that needs to be done. Unfortunately, the middle of the wall is bowed. So we're calling it a night and we're gonna think about it. Maybe a trim piece. We don't know yet. This final piece of pine that we put up along here 
had to be about an inch and a half on each corner and then it bowed to about two inches in the middle of the wall. So we had about a half inch gap that we were trying to account for. We pulled down this board right here then cut this width to size using the table saw. We did have to adjust from one side of the room to the next on the width. But here we are on the home stretch installing that final piece. Once the entire section was up, we nailed directly through the pine board to finish it off. Needless to say, I am very happy with how this pine ceiling turned out. If I wanted to be hypercritical, I would say that there is a little bit of gap along the wall. But considering that we had pretty significant bowing from this corner to this corner over here, I think we did pretty good. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something along the way because I know I sure did.